Alarocumab is a PCSK9 inhibitor used as an adjunct to manage heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia or clinical atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease in patients who require additional lowering of LDL cholesterol, LDLC. In this video, let's find found. What is alarocumab? What is alarocumab used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking alarocumab? How does alarocumab work? How to use alarocumab? What is alarocumab? Alarocumab, sold under the brand name Praluent, is a medication used as a second-line treatment for high cholesterol for adults whose cholesterol is not controlled by diet and statin treatment. It was approved for medical use in the United States and in the European Union in 2015. What is alarocumab used for? Alarocumab is an antibody-eliciting proprotein convertase subtilisin cursin type 9, PCSK9, inhibitor activity that is indicated for i. use in reducing the risk of myocardial infarction, stroke, and unstable angina requiring hospitalization adults with established cardiovascular disease, and or 2. use as an adjunct to diet or use alone or in combination with other lipid-lowering therapies, statins, ezetimibe. For example, for the treatment of adults with primary hyperlipidemia, including heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, to low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, LDLC, levels in the body. Contraindication History of serious hypersensitivity reaction to alarocumab or its excipients Side effects. Side effects that occurred in more than 2% of people treated with alarocumab in clinical trials and that occurred more frequently than with placebo included nose and throat irritation, injection site reactions and bruising, flu like symptoms, urinary tract infection, diarrhea, bronchitis and cough, and muscle pain, soreness, and spasms. Pharmacodynamic. Alarocumab reduces levels of PCSK9 in a concentration-dependent manner. Mechanism of Action Alarocumab is a fully human IgG1 monoclonal antibody that binds and inhibits proprotein convertase subtilisin slash cursin type 9, PCSK9, an enzyme found to have gain-of-function mutations in autosomal dominant hypercholesterolemia. PCSK9 treated by the liver and typically binds to the LDL receptors in serum and marks them for lysosomal degradation. In result, the LDL receptors are not able to recycle to the plasma membrane, reducing their binding to LDLC and therefore reducing the clearance of LDLC from plasma. Therefore, by inhibiting PSK9's actions, alarocumab allows for more LDLC reuptake by the liver and facilitates a higher rate of clearance. Lower LDL cholesterol concentrations are associated with a reduced risk of coronary heart disease. Half-life In monotherapy, the median half-life of alarocumab at steady state was 17 to 20 days in patients receiving alarocumab at SC doses of 75 or 150 mg every two weeks. As statin therapy increases, the production of PCSK9, statin co-administration is thought to shorten alarocumab half-life, therefore the median apparent half-life of alarocumab was reduced to 12 days at equivalent alarocumab doses. However, this difference is not considered clinically significant and does not change dosing recommendations. Dose Hyperlipidemia treatment and or CV risk reduction Indications Primary hyperlipidemia, including heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia. Indicated as an adjunct to diet, alone or in combination with other lipid-lowering therapies, e.g., statins, for treatment of primary hyperlipidemia to reduce low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, LDLC. Prevention of cardiovascular events. Indicated to reduce the risk of MI, stroke, and unstable angina requiring hospitalization in adults with established cardiovascular, CV, disease, homozygous, familial hypercholesterolemia. Indicated as an adjunct to other LDLC-lowering therapies in adults with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, HOFH, 
to reduce LDLC, established CV disease or primary hyperlipidemia, including HEFH. 75 mg SCQ2 weeks or 300 mg SCQ4 weeks initially. For patients on 300 mg Q4 weeks, measure LDLC just prior to next scheduled dose. LDLC can vary between doses in some patients. If LDLC response inadequate, may adjust by 150 mg SCQ2 weeks. Patients with HEFH undergoing apheresis or with HOFH. 150 mg SCQ2 weeks may be administered without regard to timing of apheresis. Safety Advice AUTGA Pregnancy Category B1 Drugs, which have been taken by only a limited number of pregnant women and women of childbearing age, without an increase in the frequency of malformation or other direct or indirect harmful effects on the human fetus having been observed. Studies in animals have not shown evidence of an increased occurrence of fetal damage. That's all the information about Alarocumab we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the HeInfo channel if you like this video to update more health information.